going to the question for the NMR walkthroughs playlist. We're up to number 25 now. You must be getting sick of these, but hopefully you're getting much better at them um, as a result of watching them. As always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so we'll make a start. So I've just highlighted these two key bits of information. It's got an MR of 114 and it's got two carbonyl groups and no other functional groups. So the first thing you need to do is use this information to work out the molecular formula of H. So there's my working out there. So the MR is 114. There's two carbonyl groups. They add up to 56. So if we take the 56 off the MR, we're left with 58, which means there's another four carbons and 10 hydrogens. So if we add that onto the two carbonyl groups, we get a molecular formula of C6H10O2. So the examiner is going to want to see that processing there. So moving on to the proton NMR spectrum. So what I'll do is take each signal in turn and I'll do my usual thing. So first thing, well first people to look at is this one here. So this is a doublet. So what does that mean? There's an adjacent CH. I'll write all this up in a second. So we've got an adjacent CH. That's why we're seeing this doublet. The area is six. So there must be two CH3 groups, two equivalent CH3 groups causing this signal. And a shift of one is indicative of an H to C to R um, group. So there's that information written up there. What I'm going to do now is just draw out this part of the molecule from the information. So we've got two equivalent CH3 groups with an adjacent hydrogen. So the molecule must have this feature in it. Moving on to this signal here, so we've got a singlet. Um, that means there's no adjacent hydrogen. The area of three means that there's a CH3 group causing this signal. And the shift of just over two, 2.2, 2, um, is indicative of an H to C to C double bond O. So there's all that written up. So we'll just draw out this part of the molecule. So we've got a CH3 that's directly bonded to a C double bond O. So moving on to this final signal now, we've got the expansion here, so we can see how many signals we've got. So you can see there's seven peaks here, so this is a heptet. So that means there's two adjacent um, CH3 groups, so six plus one gives you the seven. Uh, the area of one means there's just um, one hydrogen cause in this signal, and the shift value for 2.9 um, is another H to C to C double bond O. So basically what this is, is the other part of the other half of this story. So it's this proton here that's causing the signal and there's the two adjacent um, CH3 groups. So basically bonded to this is the other carbonyl group. So there, so I'll just write that up and then we'll just put the two bits together and we've got our structure. So there's that written up. All we need to do now is draw out H from what we've got. So it's obviously the CH3 group, the C double bond O. There's that second carbonyl group. And the other feature is this. So well done if you got that right.